Beautiful friends, beautiful souls, it is Tuesday, March 12th, 2024, and it is time to vibe with your tribe and feed that prediction addiction. A wonderful time of renewal and rebirth we just stepped into with the new moon that just rung in over the weekend and the coming equinox as well. And not only that, we also have the eclipse season that's upon us, and it's going to be powerful. In less than a week, we step into the pre-shadow of Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aries. And that is no doubt going to stir things up quite a bit. We are in a cycle over the next four to six weeks that is going to be intense. So how is that going to affect us? Our future? Our planet? (laughs) I'm going to let you know all about that today, and we're going to be talking about that over the next few weeks due to this season we're slowly stepping into. I believe it was just last week I had visions, if you recall, of a crocodile attack. And many were saying alligator. I said, no, crocodile. Crocodile attack taking place. And I warned of several other viral news stories of animal attacks that we would be seeing in the near future. Well, it was more near the future than we would have thought or I would have expected. It only happened within a week that a gentleman in the Everglades was attacked by a crocodile and airlifted to a hospital. Another person was attacked by a gorilla in the cage. So are animals actually getting an appetite for humans or is there something strange happening in the air? It's more likely something strange happening in the air, and I'm going to tell you all about that today. Last week, we discussed the issues with the tick last year, not last week, I'm sorry, last year. We talked about the issues, and I told you that we would see a coming ban on the TikTok app. And in my predictions, I told you all that there would be a big push for this, a huge push for this. And we are now seeing that with this new TikTok bill, 686, except... There is a heck of a lot more to Bill 686 than you probably realize. Beginning not with just the app, a lot more than just the app. And it's very much like the Patriot Act that was passed back in 2001, 2002. A bill to strip away more of our rights and freedoms. Besides, it's perhaps unconstitutional at the same time. Will this bill be passed? We better certainly hope it doesn't. And I'm going to tell you why today. Interesting information. New York City has come up in my predictions many, many times, quite frequently, actually, including my visions of the subway systems in New York and subway systems in other cities as well. Like today, I have a warning for the, the Chicago subway system, but others in other countries as well. Recently, in New York, New York City, the subway systems have been taken over by the National Guard. But will this actually help to protect New Yorkers from what's coming? Because there's something coming. You feel it. You know it. We all do. You don't need to be psychic to know. You'd have to be blind to not know and feel that something big is upon us. Not to mention, you know, New York has recently become a human sewer. Human toilet, literally. Literally with folks relieving themselves on the sidewalks and in the parks. So what's next for New York? And how is this going to affect the world? It's going to. Big things are upon us, friends. Big things. So what's going on? (laughs) Speaking of big things, with the uh, fighter boxer dude Ryan Garcia, because that's been all over YouTube and other social media platforms like crazy over the past week. He's literally gone viral. So... This, after he went on this whole rant, if you didn't know, he went on this whole rant about the global elite. uh, And soon he did this soon after actually Kid Rock had a video that went viral talking about Bohemian Grove. So is Ryan Garcia telling the truth or is this, you know, a mental breakdown? Is he going like cuckoo for crazy or cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Which one is it? Or is he just trying to promote an upcoming match? A big match, the biggest match of his life, actually. And what will come from this, if anything? Will he be taken down at the fight? Or by the globalist? Or both? We're going to talk about that today because you requested that I mentioned it in the comments last week. So over the past week, 
We've also once again witnessed crazy incidents when it comes to airplanes. And remember, I told you over a year ago we were going to see this. Early last year that we were going to see consistent issues revolved around airplanes, airports, and air travel. Now that is happening. Well, it's been happening, actually. Soon after I said it, look at all the incidents that have happened last year. And this year is almost going to top last year's incidents. We had one plane that made a crash landing after the tire fell off. Could you imagine, friends, being on a plane and the darn tire falls off? Somebody didn't bolt that tire down correctly. What's that all about? They'll probably, you know, push this under the rug very quickly to try to take people's attention away from it. It's not to take your attention away from the fear of it all, though, for sure. So we also had a plane crash in Australia. Actually, it wasn't a crash. A plane flying from Australia to New Zealand or the other way around was shaken up like never before when it dropped so quickly it sent people smashing into the ceilings. That is a scary situation that they're calling severe turbulence. Uh, I think there's a little bit more to that than what they may be telling people. So like, it seems to me like somebody's trying to attempt to make folks afraid to fly. That's what I say. Maybe too much CO2, even though the elite get to ride around in their jets, sucking up more CO2 and putting out more CO2 than anybody. But that's okay, they're allowed. So today, I got more predictions and visions revolved around airplanes, along with a bunch of other new predictions that you are not going to want to miss today, along with what's going on with Princess Kate. There's a lot of worry around Princess Kate, and we just found out that the picture she put out was doctored and photoshopped. What is that all about? What's really going on, and what does Princess Kate's future look like in the near future? And we're going to talk about that. And a whole lot more on this episode number 108. We're getting up there in numbers, friends. Episode number 108 of Prediction Tuesday's Prediction Update. And y'all know what time it is. It's tea time, baby. friends beautiful souls i hope that you're having an amazing day so far it is tuesday march 12th it is just after lunch hour here in sedona arizona when i'm recording this for you beautiful souls i hope again you're having a great day if you're new here you want accurate predictions prophecy and truth and you want to vibe with the tribe, you got to smash that subscribe. Every Tuesday, we talk about world events and how they may affect or may not affect past predictions and prophecy, along with future predictions and prophecy, each and every Tuesday. So if you want good content, again, you got to smash that subscribe. And I thank you so much for showing your love for all the time and effort and energy that goes into this each and every week. Show your love by smashing that thumbs up button. I call that the love button down below you'll find the links to all my social media including you'll find me on spotify under spirit speaks predictions so get on over to spotify and give me a follow over there or on rumble or on tiktok or any other platform that you can find me on i also if you're on any of those platforms a big warning goes out if you get any kind of messages private messages coming from any social media platform that looks or appears to be me. It is not me. I do not even have time to go through messages on social media platforms. I only message people directly through our office at office at josephtittle.com and the other email addresses we have. It's coming from my email. If you get a message, you don't, don't need to let me know. I already know what's happening. Uh, it happens constantly especially Facebook and Instagram, do absolutely nothing about it. When people report it, they say, oh, they're not impersonating you, even though they steal all your pictures and steal everything about you and make it look like you. So know that. They've already scammed people that weren't thinking out of money, instantly thinking that I would even have time or offer or ask for money or donations or the new one is gift cards. That's the new one. Yeah, because it's untraceable and they can hurry up and, you know, steal anything they can from you under my name. They do this to other people too, other big platforms and even the bigger platforms. I'm sure they do it with, with the beast too. So be aware of this, friends. When you get messages, especially from bigger platforms, 
No, they likely don't have time to do that in the begin with, and they're not going to be messaging you asking you for money, donations, or gift cards. Not going to happen. Please pass this message on to others so that they're not scammed, not just again from this channel, but from all other platforms and other content providers. Uh, psychics, all, they, they go for everybody, unfortunately. So be aware of that. And let us move on to episode number 108 of Tea Time, baby. Early Sunday morning at 2 a.m. Sedona time. Not sure when it rung in your time, but we had the beautiful and powerful new moon ringing in. And that new moon is here to inspire all of us to dive very deeply into our subconsciousness and to, of course, set our goals and our visions for the future and to do so from the center of our hearts. This is a very potent time when it comes to spiritual exploration. So get out there, meditate. And not only just that, your creative expression as well. So if you wanted to do something like take a pottery class, seek that out now. This is a great time for your creative expression. And it's in the sign of Pisces. So therefore, that energy of Pisces is going to also help to cloak our imagination and more importantly, our intuition. Although this can also affect people's emotions as well usually on the positive side. So come by now, today, you should be feeling a shift and more of a positive attitude. If you're not, then you need to ground your energy. You need to meditate. You need to focus on the heart center and bring that energy in to open up your heart so that you too are in this stage of rebirth and doing so with joy. Joy leads us to the abundance. That's why it's abundance, joy, and happiness, right in that order. So... Have you also noticed how wonky you might have felt? <laughs> a little bit wonky over the weekend, especially on Sunday, right after that new moon kicked in? It was wonky, really wonky energy, but a good kind of wonky. I just felt like buzzed, like, like spacey, spacey, that would be the word, on Sunday. I'm like, why do I feel weird today like this? Just weird. Then I was like, oh, yeah, that's it, the new moon energy. I was feeling weird Saturday too, but definitely on Sunday. Remember that kicked in 2 a.m. Uh, uh, mountain time, or actually that would be Pacific time now because the time changed, which messes everything up. Time change. There is no time. Time is an illusion. So I hope you utilize this new moon and the coming equinox energy that's coming up to assist you in helping you to manifest your dreams and desires. The equinox is seven days away. And we are currently in that waxing moon cycle, which is all about manifesting and, you know, setting your goals and even achieving goals. So remember, the spring equinox to our ancient ancestors in many cultures was their new year. Everything comes to life. That was the beginning for them. Makes sense, doesn't it? Makes a whole lot of sense. So I would also tell you to expect some pretty wild energies to come flowing in. Uh, not just now and this week, but over the next four to six weeks, according to Spirit. The next four to six weeks, we're going to experience new levels of ascension. More light codes that are going to flow in. And some of them are going to flow in with, according to Spirit, X-class solar flares. Which is often the case. I mean, light codes, the sun, makes a whole lot of sense there, too. And Spirit says that's going to happen between the equinox and the March eclipse on the 25th and 26th, depending on where you reside in March. So hold on tight, friends, because let me tell you, the fastest roller coaster ever is about to take off. As long as you're holding on tight and enjoy the ride, you'll be good. So let's move on to our first topic today and the animal attacks, because I believe it was just last week that I had visions of a crocodile attack taking place, and I warned of several other news stories that would become viral over animal attacks. I don't remember every one that I, but I gave out specific ones. One was about the crocodile attack. I believe another one had to do with tigers. Tigers, lions, and bears. Oh, my! Uh, but you'd have to go back to last week's. I can't remember everything the Spirit tells me. Uh, and I only remember some of it because I repeat it to you, so that helps me to remember. But this stuff flows out, flows through me, and there's not a memory thing involved. So there's warnings that Spirit gave us, and just over the weekend, 
in the Everglades of Florida, which I didn't know they had crocodiles there, but the news is reporting that a 68-year-old man was attacked by a crocodile and airlifted to the hospital in Miami. While another person, and I'm not sure where this is, I didn't look, y'all told me in the comments, that somebody was attacked by a gorilla. Now, I don't recall making predictions specifically around gorillas. I do remember the crocodile. I might have even said alligator separately, but I don't recall that either. Uh, and I do recall something with tigers and lions. And I think India was part of that. I got more robbed around that for you today in predictions. Got lots of new predictions today. So we hadn't seen that right after I said it. The crocodile attack happened right after I said it, which is creepy. So are animals getting this appetite for humans all of a sudden? Or is there something more stranger happening? Well, the strange this happen, that's happening, it, there is certainly something strange happening in the air, but it's not just, keep in mind, not just them. It's the ascension of humanity, but the ascension of our planet. So this would include all animals, insects, and the earth herself. Everything's ascending and shifting. So yes, everything's going to be affected. You see people, you know, rebelling, right? You see people biting, you know, attacking and biting, right? So we're going to see more of that. And we're seeing more attacks, unfortunately, especially here in America with what's happening. But I'm sure that's happening all over the globe. It doesn't matter where you are. We just, you know, they, your media only keeps you combined to where you live and with the agenda that they want to put out. That's why I highly recommend in independent journalists like redact it they do some good stuff so anyway yeah the animals insects everything's affected by this shift and this ascension that's happening and basically animals are going to be reacting like people and the fact that they want to fight back for their freedom and their rights as well to live to live and live in a way that they want to live amongst other creatures that's how we all want to live and that's what they're going to want too Remember, they got minds, they're intuitive, they're empaths, just like all the rest of living creatures on this planet. So, especially when it comes to animals that are caged, uh, that is where we're going to see an increase. We're going to see an increase in dog attacks, and especially animals that are, again, put in cages, like the gorilla attack. So, I also see chaos breaking out around several zoos due to animals breaking free. So in this one case that I had visions of today, it appeared to me that the cages were opened up by a group of people, like sneaking into the zoo and opening up and letting everything go free, allowing the zoo, entire zoo to run free. So I feel that this could be connected first maybe to a zoo in India, another zoo somewhere in Europe, and even a zoo issue that's going to come up for Australians and New Zealand New Zealanders so not all the same thing but issues around zoos spirit just told me now that there's also going to be a lot of zoos that are going to be closed down including in the United States but other places as well some of these incidents that happen around zoos are going to call for a fight to stop zoos in certain countries and states so that's interesting Spirit says to keep an eye around the time of the summer months and in the month of September when it comes to zoos and animal attacks and all of that. Interesting, right? But yeah, if it's affecting us, it's affecting the animals and look at what they're going through. You know, they're fighting a war of their own, keeping humans away, right? Fighting for their own survival. So you can't really blame them. Let's move on. Tick tock, don't rock, baby. Tick tock, don't rock. It's not going to rock much longer because last year, if you recall, we discussed the TikTok app because it was a bit of a controversy last year at some point. And I told you in last year's predictions that in the future, we're going to see a big ban put towards TikTok in my past predictions. And I told you there'd be a big, big push, bigger than what we were seeing last year on the TikTok. Then it all blew over and everybody kind of forgot about it for a little while, right? For a while, anyway, for a year. And I told you that there would be this new push. Well, there is this new push happening right now before our eyes. And um, I don't see many people talking about it like they should be. So what they're putting out and what they're pushing is a new TikTok Bill 686. Look it up for yourself, friend. Look it up for yourself. 
just beginning, just banning an app. It's not just banning an app. That's what they're making it appear to be, which is exactly what they did with the Patriot Act after 9-11. They made it all look like it was for you and for your protection and your safety while they started bugging us, listening to us, and following all our text messages and did away with all our privacy. And thank God for Edward Snowden for blowing the roof on that and WikiLeaks for what they blew the roof on. But yeah, so is this new bill similar to the Patriot Act? Pa- Patriot, I can talk. Patriot Act. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Uh, this is more you're going to see uh, about stripping away our rights and to take more control of the internet in a way that eventually, as I told you in past predictions, they're going to try to push a pass where you have to have an ID associated with your computer. And yeah, you'll say we have IP addresses. No, they want something where you're registered, name, address, everything, a uh, basically internet pass. And certain people aren't going to have that pass. Now, you remember may remember my solution to it all is you have two internets, one for adults and one for kids under 18, period. Mm-mm. No, no, that's it. And they could do that. That would be very easy for them to do. But they won't do that because they want to pass the new TikTok Bill 686. Now, I want you to listen to this for a moment because this bill is going to get passed. You know, is it going to get passed? That's the first thing. Is it going to get passed? And why really would the government need to... You listen, listen to this. We're going to ask Alexa. Well, somebody asked Alexa, and this is what she had to say. The Restrict Act, S-686, would allow the government to access all of the data on your video devices if it is a service that uses over 1 million people. This includes services like Ring Doorbell slash in-home security cameras and so much more. Your Ring Door cameras? I have Ring cameras all around my property. That's disturbing to me. That makes me not want Ring. Ring cameras aren't cheap. Well, none of them are, really. So what do they want access? Why do they want to look in our homes? Why is that their business? Do you know, I talked about this maybe a year ago, I believe, that um, Amazon started this new thing that brings all your neighborhood cameras together. I opted out, and I forget the details of it, but basically it was so that they had access to all the cameras in the neighborhood. Amazon. But why exactly? And why, what's with this act? It's really creepy. There's more. So when we ask Alexa, does this take away from our freedoms and our rights? This is what she claims. The six, a proposed legislation does not take away people's freedom to speak. The bill aims to combat terrorism by creating a national strategy for preventing terrorist radicalization and recruitment within the United States. Within the United States? That sounds like, taking away your freedom to me wouldn't you agree oh it gets even better it gets even better listen to this 686 also known as the freedom and openness in the united states act has been met with controversy due to its potential impact on free speech and online censorship the bill grants significant power to the federal government to control information and communications making it similar in scope to the patriot act by granting immunity from public oversight, the bill raises concerns about the potential for abuse and lack of accountability. Opponents of the bill have expressed worries about its effects on digital freedom and the ability of citizens to access accurate and unbiased information. Yeah, and what about folks that perhaps have a VPN? I'll tell you about that in a moment. So this bill, as it just told us, is not about TikTok at all. Even though they're calling it a ban on TikTok bill, Bill 686, this is exactly identical to the Patriot Act in in its agenda. That happened, you know, they used 911 as a way to put fear into people and tell you that, oh, we got to pass something so that you're safer, to make you safer. Then we found out, you know, oh, it's better for your health. It's better, better for your safety. So we're going to pass this Patriot Act, right? And then we found out what that was all about. We found out exactly what that was all about. Now we have this Bill 686 that we know is not about TikTok at all. It's about our freedom and freedom of speech more than anything and gives the government permission to spy on you in your house if you have a ring camera. 
your neighborhood, everything. That gives them access to all the videos and all the videos, no matter what, not just Ring. I guarantee you, they're probably already tapped into the mall after Amazon passed that new thing last year with their Ring cameras. Bringing the neighborhood together, they make it look like it's good. So if something happens, you know, we know we could see your neighbor. We could see everything. So they already started pushing this last year and used Amazon as a way of pushing it. I find that to be really interesting. And, you know, there's a lot more, a lot more to this. So now what if you use a VPN? What about that? Well, that's even scarier because I use a VPN. VPNs keep our privacy. 686, also known as the Freedom and Openness in the United States Act, has been met with controversy due to its potential impact on free speech and online censorship. The bill grants significant power to the federal government to control information and communications, making it similar in scope to the Patriot Act. By granting immunity from public oversight, the bill warns about the potential for abuse and lack of accountability. Opponents of the bill have expressed worries about its effects on digital freedom and the ability of citizens to access accurate and unbiased information. So when we listen to that again, it gives the federal government the right to monitor communications, meaning the Internet, meaning that they already use the Internet to push their propaganda and so forth. And now they want to make sure that they have you through your cameras and through everything else down to the fact that they want to eliminate encryption. That's another thing they're pushing to stop encryption completely. And of course, to stop VPNs. Act. Senate Bill 686 proposes jail time for using a VPN to access certain websites or apps operated by foreign adversaries. Is there anything else I can assist you with? So if you have a VPN... They will come and arrest you. You're no longer allowed to trick the advertising systems by making them believe you live somewhere else in a different state. Because if you're not familiar with a VPN, that's what they do. They make sure that you're tracked. They can't track you. It'll jump from place to place. You know, one moment you might be in California. The next moment you might be in Pennsylvania and then New York. So they want to make sure that you're not able to do that. They say it's for your safety. Let's just face it. The hackers out there, there's good ones and there's evil ones, just like everything else. They could get right around that. They would have no problem tricking their systems and creating their own VPNs to hide who they are. Let's face it, friends. This isn't about TikTok. This isn't about protecting you. This is about full control over all the content. Isn't that how it is in Cuba, for example? Doesn't it sound like they're pushing something that they would push in a country like Cuba? This is scary, friends. This is scary, and you must be the resistance. So using a VPN in accordance again to the Bill 686, you will be arrested. So what else is in Bill 66? You know, besides taking away your freedoms. So what they're going to do again is try to take away encryption. That's another thing that they're proposing. So they could literally turn around and make something up about you and put it on your computer themselves. They already can do that, but now they can do it in a more powerful way to put people in jail. Maybe because you like a candidate that they don't want you to like, for example, and they take you and put you away for voicing your opinion or your like for somebody that they don't want you to like. So if you have a smart home, friends, I don't have a smart home. I just have my, you know... I wouldn't call it a smart home. I don't have all that those gadgets. But if you do, you got to know, including, you know, they have someone gave me one for your heater. Uh, what are they called? I forget what they're called. But, you know, you can do it all by your phone and all. And I won't put it in for that reason, because they had them put in in many places like California, where eventually they can go in and turn your heat down or turn it up or lock it so you can't get in. Mm -mm, friends, no, no, no. So if you have a smart home, do you know what smart really even means? It doesn't mean intelligent, that's for sure. And if you do know, uh, avoid. Avoid the best you can making your home and property a target for being watched and monitored by the government. Unfortunately, we still need cameras so that we can really be protected, not in a way that the government's telling us they're protecting us. You do not need access to my cameras. Sorry, you do not. That's ridiculous. That's beyond ridiculous. So, you know, SMART is really special military aerial route tracking. That's what I call it. 
That's what I determined SMART to be. Special military aerial, meaning satellite, uh, route tracking. Tracking every route that you make. Everything you do. So, it's not intelligent like people might think it is. Yeah, it's SMART, but not the SMART that you're thinking of. So keep in mind that the globalists, again, also want to put a stop to encryption, banning it completely, although I would be willing to bet you that they get to keep their encryptions along with their CO2 pumping jets that they fly around the world. They get to eat meat, but you get to eat the bugs. The bugs you will like and be the happy. <laughs> Klaus Schwab. So it's just not fair, friends. This is what, what looks to me, according to Spirit, to be a psychopathic communist vision for our future. A future that I'm not going to be living in. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to be living in that future. I'll be living in a better future, the new earth future. So will they actually pass this bill? Spirit says that the global, globalist psychopaths behind this actual agenda will continue to push this bill and push it through the House, and enforce the House into eventually voting it in. So Spirit says similar bills are being passed and have already been passed in certain countries like Australia and the UK. So friends over there, keep an eye on whatever bills. I know that I think it was the UK was the one that they just passed or they're trying to pass. Same with Australia. But Spirit says, yeah, that's already happening. They're already doing it in other countries, and we need to be the example and say No. Because this is going to 100% completely destroy the freedom, along with the banking system they plan on putting into place, the digital banking system, all the way down to the Holy Bible's prophecy of the mark of the beast. You cannot buy groceries. You cannot do things if you don't hold the mark of the beast. It's the Bible says that, not exact words, but it says, you know, you will not be able to buy food. It's crazy. And food's getting crazy as it is. So, again, Spirit gave me that feeling. As of now, people aren't aware of it so, in the United States and warns that this bill will completely destroy our freedom and the so-called democracy that we live in. So, call your representatives, friend. Call your representatives. Call the White House. Call everybody and anybody possible to demand to vote no and kill Bill 686. Let's move on. I don't want to be a part of it. And old New York. Yeah, New York is our next topic, of course. Because New York system, New York system, New York City, I mean, comes up quite often. I've done videos on the future visions I had of the big wave hitting. That big wave could be coming sooner than we think. Could it be metaphoric or could it be real? Well, I believe both metaphoric and real and that first big wave the metaphoric one is about to hit new york city remember uh, my visions many predictions revolved around subways subway incidents not just in new york city but throughout the world and we've seen some of those predictions come true uh spirit reminds me of another one the something explodes in the subway system and I see the cars, something being sabotaged with two subway cars where they go off the tracks deep under. Now, I'm not saying this is New York, by the way. This is just spirits giving me this right now while I'm talking to you. That's why you got to tune in every week, friends. Spirits are always giving me information. Sometimes we get more past predictions come up as we get closer or we get more details of past predictions, more information. That's why you got to stay on top every single Tuesday. Don't want to miss a show. So going back to the subways, just this past week, New York City's subways have been overtaken by the National Guard. About time. Why didn't they do that at the borders? Well, we know why. You know, they got to get those votes in for themselves this year, the elections. So the New York City subway is being taken over while at the same, by the National Guard. While at the same time, is that going to do any good? Is it going to help? It's not, Spirit says. They're not going to prevent an incident from happening on the subway systems coming the late summer, early fall months. And Spirit just said that to me now. So, more information that's not in any notes. So, that's important too. 
that some lots of things aren't in notes. It's just information's throwing information at me all the time. All the time. I'm grateful. Thank you, spirits, for that information. So also at the same time, we have New York City turning into a giant toilet. Gross. With the smell of you know what all over the place. And it's getting bad. Over overflowing porta potties, overflowing dirty, filthy bathrooms, and it's just getting worse. It's getting worse that to the point that there's piles of doo-doo in the streets and in the parks and all over the place. And again, it's become a human toilet. So what's next for New Yorkers? <laughs> a lot. A lot, friends. I believe that big wave that Spirit just showed me, the metaphoric wave coming, is a wave that's going to hit New York and Wall Street. Remember, I talked not long ago about a great wall falling. And many, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. And many people thought that was the wall in New York, you know, Wall Street, which I agree. But Spirit continues to tell me a great wall will fall. And I believe that's going to be in Israel. And I don't believe anytime soon. I'd say between now and say 2030, within the next five years, you know, some things again come true faster than other things. So now, not only that, first of all, with New York becoming a human toilet, uh, Spirit says when the summer months heat up and it's going to be record breaking heat in New York, New York's going to fill up with a hazy fog from the heat and distant wildfires. Spirit didn't tell me where these wildfires are from. Maybe Canada again? Because if you remember last year, Philadelphia, New York was all smoked out. The East Coast was smoked out due to the fires that were happening in Canada. So I don't know where these fires are. They could be real close by, like the New Jersey Pinelands. Because I did predict recently fires in New Jersey. So hope not, but it's likely going to be the case. So whatever the case is, in my vision today, Spirit showed me it was going to be really, really hot. Record-breaking heat. A smoky haze from distant fires. Like we witnessed last year. And then Spirit says an outbreak will hit. The streets of New York. A concerning outbreak like that of cholera. Cholera outbreaks and something a bit new, according to Spirit, that causes rashes, affects the eyesight, and even affects many folks' ability to walk a straight line, making it appear as if they were on drugs when they're not. Well, some will be, I'm sure, but besides that, Part of this feels to me to be intentional as a way to weed out the homelessness while the streets become overcrowded by illegals. And um, Spirit also shows me new gangs that are now forming in New York City. Spirit calls them cartel gangs. I mean, that was an easy guess that, that was going to happen. But Spirit's confirming today and saying, you know, they're forming now. Cartel gangs. That's plural. So there's at least two. Probably two opposing cartel Families, I'm, I would imagine. I don't know how many cartel families there are. Don't really care to know. They should all be taken out. That's what the world, world military should be doing. Taking out the bad guys instead of fighting with each other. That'd be so easy for them to do. It would be so easy for them to just go take out the cartel. Be, like, let's, come on, let's be like serious here. So easy. I remind you also of past predictions and visions that Spirit showed me. First, I had a vision of a gunman in the streets. I saw this happening in the future in New York City. And I also saw this happening maybe even closer near future in Paris, France. One event, I believe, in Paris, again, but both places, I see several gunmen in the streets, and they speak another language. And Spirit showed me that vision more clearly today. I believe I was in Paris, actually, with that. But I feel like multiple events, probably also New York City. I also remind you of my past visions of a major event hitting New York City. It reminds me of what happened back in 2001, right? When they soon after passed the Patriot Act. So it's something along those lines where the city's shut down completely. The military and the National Guard takes to the streets. But this time, I would expect there to be martial law or strict curfews going into place. Curfews that, that aren't going to work because they're not working now that they tried to pass that. 
Uh, and the city is going to be forced to become extremely strict when this big event occurs. Now, I keep asking when this event's going to occur. As of now, I'm thinking, you know, between now and this time next year, Spirit don't give me timelines. But I feel like it's the elections, everything, the chaos revolved around that and all the other chaos is all this is going to add to it. These sleeper cells are coming in and they're waiting because they know likely the chaos or maybe they don't know. But the people that put them here know that the chaos that's coming revolved around the elections and election season. So let's hold all the cities in light and love. New York already has thousands of people fleeing and selling their homes, but soon we are going to see a short real estate boom in New York in the aspect of people wanting to sell and get out. Selling now would, of course, be the best because properties are going to drop between 40 and 60% in most parts of New York City within the next two years, maybe even just within the next year. Interesting things. And I have friends in New York City, been there many, many dozens of times. So it doesn't feel good to me. Spirit's showing me another vision now of a something being suitcases being carried in. Looks rather big. It looks suspicious, actually. I mean, the guys carrying these in look very suspicious. They have darker, not dark skin, but medium toned skin. So I can't tell if they're Middle Eastern or what they are. Um, they have hats on. There's a small group going into a building. I believe I'm in New York City. Uh, and they're planting something down below. So down below, I guess, in a parking garage or something along that. Spirit showing me this, and this could have something to do perhaps with the Empire State Building or very close to the Empire State Building. But I feel like this reminds me of the World Trade Center or what happened in Oklahoma way back. So let's hope not. But Spirit shows me all that now. So did Ryan Garcia have a mental breakdown? Some people would like you to believe so. I didn't even know who the guy is because I don't follow any of that stuff. Uh, personally, on a personal level, I think fighting and boxing is, is very bad negative energy. Teaching kids that it's okay to fight even if it's a sport, I just I don't like it. That's just my opinion. You know, I've done, you keep your opinions to yourself. I don't need to know in the comments. <laughs> I just don't like it. So what's going on with Ryan Garcia? A lot, I'd say, because he has gone viral over the past week, over just, yeah, less than the past week. After he went on a podcast and went on these rants and these raves about the global elite and, you know, what they do. And I'm not even going to go into any details. You can go look it up for yourself. You know the details without me going into the gory details. What happens to the little ones? He even called out things allegedly revolved around the Vatican, all kinds of stuff. So convenient that this first thing he started ranting about was Bohemian Grove where the elite throw their parties and worship the giant owl. Um, Moloch? Moloch. Took me a minute. Uh, the, the dark entity Moloch, which poses as the owl, is what they say. And that's where the elite go. There's a documentary that was put out by Alex J. a while back. I forget which one that was. He did a lot of documentaries. It was a good documentary. But anyway... This all happened conveniently right after Kid Rock posted a video that went viral talking about Bohemian Grove. So did Brian Garcia take this as an opportunity to promote his fight? I have no doubt. But opportunity to, to, you know, for popularity. He saw Kid Rock's video going viral and he can make one go even more viral. He talks about having all this evidence and all this stuff, which seems to not. Then he said his phone got taken from him and it disappeared. The whole story seems very, very shady. I will say that the things he was talking about, because I watched all the clips, he's definitely not lying. What he's saying is happening. But as far as what he's saying happened to himself, again, who's, who's judged? It could very well have happened to him. He might be high up where he is financially because of the abuse he may have endured when he was younger i have no doubt especially being he's a fighter 
I, maybe they, they groomed them. Who knows? But what I do know is that, yeah, this was definitely a ploy to push this fight that's coming up, was my feeling, while also using this as an opportunity to put more information out about what's happening. But most of the information, or pretty much all the information he told us, we already knew about. So it was just shining more light on something that we all already knew about. But maybe likely with his following, many people did not know. Because, you know, we know that many people are blinded to what's happening on the planet. So it's interesting. So will anything ever happen from this? Will anything happen? No. And here's how we'll tell. Because they could take him out instantly. Instantly. They can like tap him with a little needle before he goes onto the platform to fight and make it look like a knockout, and then he passes from the fight. That, that would be how they would do it. Without a doubt, give him a little prick as he's walking by, and he'd be like, oh, what was that? You know, so quick that he didn't even know it hit him. That last maybe 20 minutes before it, boom, you just drop like a fly. They have all that stuff, friends. We know they have all that stuff. They, the CIA, all those three-letter digit agencies and all the global elite with the crazy things they do. So we'll have to keep an eye on Ryan. I think that he's likely going to have a big takedown in the near future. And they're going to come out him hard. Even if he's telling the truth and not telling the truth. Again, we know what he's talking about is real. So he's not lying about that. As far as his own personal things, if that's real, then of course they're going to come after him. And they're always going to come after you first financially. So, and I don't know, is he, he's worth like, tens of millions of dollars but he's a young guy a young good-looking guy so i would tell him to watch his back at the same time i have no doubt that this was a big promo for his fight 100 percent, more money and i believe that like elections and many other things in this world football games there's a fixing technique that happens behind the scenes if you know what i mean because there's gambling involved Whenever there's gambling, there's cheating. And when anybody can cheat a system by saying, you're going to go down in the fourth round, they're going to go down in the fourth round. Just saying. Not really a topic, and I don't talk about, I'm not really careless when it comes to sports, especially violent sports like that. Um, and he's definitely got something not right in the head, is what Spirit shows me too. From all the hits that he took and the blows to the head. But that's not yet related to his rants. His rants were all just, a, again, an attention ploy. Along with getting truth out at the same time. So there was several intentions he had with this. Other than that, that that's about it. But he needs to be aware of his head. Because he's not going to make it far. And he will have problems in the future. With migraines and head problems. If he keeps going. For more than four years, Spirit says. And don't be surprised again that C, Ryan Garcia, end up passing away in the future during or right after a fight. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Let's talk about, speaking of disasters, airline disasters. Because over the past weekend, we once again witnessed crazy incidents with airplanes. One airplane made a crash landing after the tire fell off. Could you imagine? You're looking out the window, your plane's taking off, and all of a sudden you see the tire fall off? Oh, my Lord, that would just freak me out. I would be, like, panicked, without a doubt. Things not much scares me, but being that high up in the air and not knowing whether you're going to land correctly, yeah, that would scare me. No doubt about it. So one plane it made a crash landing, and it all turned out to be okay. Thank goodness for that. But we had another plane in, that was going between Australia and New Zealand that did a sudden 50-foot drop. Sending people to the ceiling, like really severely injuring many, many people. That lawsuit could end up making that airlines go bankrupt in the future. Remember my past prediction saying that there will be again a future bailout around airlines. Interesting enough. And another again, trying to bring everything together into one. You know what I mean? So we're going to see more buyouts of airlines. You know, the bigger ones buying out the little guys. After little guys happen to have all these little problems that happen, makes you wonder if those problems really were caused somehow by the big guys in order to do their takeover. Would not surprise me at all. More than like more so though, 
that many of these incidents have probably been happening all along, you know, over the years, just here and there. But now media is very focused on it. And we know that, you know, the, the man that wants you to eat the bugs does not want you to fly in the air either. They're allowed to fly their airplanes, but you are not. They don't want you traveling. They don't want you traveling because they don't want you to be able to go from place to place for many reasons. It has nothing to do with CO2. It has to do with, again, creating a communist world uh, and a communist world dictatorship. That's their whole goal. And they want to deter people from flying. They want to put fear into people so that you don't fly. Little by little, like they do with everything, with media and everything else. They give you a little bit. They, they slowly program it into your mind. Like they're doing with UFOs and aliens. Slowly getting you used to it before they come with their big blow. That's what they do. I have some very specific predictions revolved around airlines, and I'll tell you about that when I get down to my specific predictions in a few minutes. Let's talk about Haiti for a minute. Because as you probably are already aware, Haiti is in complete chaos. And you may recall Spirit telling us a few shaking, a big great shaking was coming to Haiti, remember? And we thought earthquake right away. That's what I thought anyway. I don't know what y'all thought, but Spirit told us it was not long ago, within the past six months, that a great shaking was coming to Haiti. And again, I thought it would be an earthquake. Haiti is um, definitely getting a great shaking right now that will only just continue to shake up more and more. Spirit tells me, uh, especially when aid comes to help, posing as helpers. Spirit says it's only going to shake up more when aid comes in posing as helpers who are really seeking a new control of their own over the Haitian people. Spirit warns Haitian leaders, beware of a foreign aid choosing the wrong helper will bring you great regret years later. Interesting, right? I know um, it is basically a war zone right now in Haiti, if you haven't noticed or haven't heard. I see this intensifying, unfortunately, especially, again, when AIDS brought in from the outside. And this is going to ignite even more chaos before things settle down. Two leaders will fall, Spirit says. At the same time, this comes to me now, his spirit shows me Jamaica and something, something similar happening in Jamaica. <laughs> spirit says, yeah, that would be a place you may not want to visit in the future. You might want to just hold back. Not right now. It's good right now. We're, I think we're going a few months out, but I feel like this is spreading over to Jamaica. So if you're torn between going to Jamaica or St. Martin or St. Thomas, I'd pick St. Martin and St. Thomas. <laughs> just saying, just saying. And if you're already planning on going there, Spirit says, don't worry, you're good to go. No, you'll be well. Always have an escape plan. <laughs> I wonder if Princess Kate has an escape plan. Because it seems like she might want to escape right now. Princess Catherine, Princess of Wales. So what's really going on with the Princess of Wales, Kate? Folks have been very, very concerned, apparently, about the princess, being that she wasn't seen until recently after that medical procedure she had due to abdominal issues back, what, right before the holidays, I think it was? So now she released this picture, likely that, that she was directed to do. She was directed to post that picture. And I now feel that picture... Now we know that picture was majorly doctored and photoshopped. I'm sure there's probably people out there now, probably on YouTube or other platforms, that are trying to pick apart the pictures and take away the photoshopping. They're not going to be successful at that. Spirit says no one will be successful in making it look like the real picture, whatever that may be. So if you're looking for videos like that, don't even waste your time. They're not going to do any good, Spirit says. Now, uh, she releases the picture, and then people found out. I forget who found out, but they saw all the discrepancies in the picture and all the little marks that showed all the photoshopping. So then that became a big deal, as you may or may not know. Then they, um, Buckingham Palace, they asked to release the regular picture. They're refusing to do so. It's just a picture. Why would you refuse? Unless there's really something you're hiding. Wouldn't that make sense? It's just a picture. She photoshopped it a little bit. How bad could it possibly be that you don't want anybody to see it at all? 
Because I bet you it wasn't her that photoshopped it. I bet you it was Buckingham Palace that photoshopped it. And they got caught, and they're putting the blame on poor princess. I'll put money on it. Remember what happened to poor Princess Diana. Now, she's stuck in a family that she didn't realize what she was getting herself into. And yeah, it was probably happy and joyful for her. And it might currently still be because she has beautiful children. Little reptilian kitties. I'm kidding. Some other people would say they're not kidding. And maybe that's true too. Who knows? So now she releases that picture. Everybody's in chaos over it. Buckingham Palace is refusing to release it. And I just, I still don't know why they don't want the world to see. So Princess Kate is currently in her nine personal year in numerology, which is all about endings and letting go of. But this also, the nine vibration is notorious for bringing about health issues. So remember, the emotional cause of abdominal cramps. We talked about this back when she had that problem. I, I'm when the king was diagnosed with the big C. We did, I talked about all their diagnoses. So according to Louise Hay and You Can Heal Your Life, the book, best-selling book, the um, abdominal cramps is fear and stopping the process. What process? Process of life, I would imagine. While the stomach issue is dread, fear of the new and the inability to assimilate the new. So what's new? You know, fear of the new. What's new that she's fearing? Or maybe she don't want the new. But that's just the emotional causes connected to it. And it would make a lot of sense that her being in her nine year, that she'd be enduring some health issues. She's also 42 years old. So she just went past that threshold. Some people have issues at 40 or different big ages, whether it be 30, 40, 50, whatever. So maybe that also had an effect on her. Spirit shows me that her issues go much deeper. For example, Spirit says if she were pregnant again, it would actually risk her life. So she has a lot going on, a lot going on more than just her abdominal issues. Not that she's going to get pregnant again. This was just an example. But Spirit said that would totally risk her high risk. You know, a very low risk of actually survival if she were to actually go through with something like that. Not that she has any plans of doing so, and not that I see any more kids in her future. But if she were, again, spirit reminded that it would be a very bad decision. I also get an overwhelming feeling of regret coming from Princess Kate. I don't know why, but I get this regret and unhappiness when it comes to especially her marriage. So do not at all be surprised, friends, to see her in the future, see the pair, the two of them, end up divorced within the next four to six years. By the time she's 50, I would say. So she is staying strong for her children, of course, as Spirit said, but we would hope so anyway. That is the mother instinct. Uh, right now, that's what she's doing because her current health issues and the way she nurtures herself and this process is actually going to determine her future health down the road. This is an important, important, viable time for her when it comes to her health and changing things in her life. Because this is going to determine the long-term effects, if there are any. You know, for example, it could determine her exit point on the planet. We all have exit points. Some of us have multiple exit points. This can determine an earlier or a later exit point based on her health issues and how she flows through the other issues that she's having within her marriage and everything else. And I sadly feel that, again, in the future, that she'll likely end up divorced, just like Princess Diana, that whole same situation. And I would also, sadly, not be surprised if the whole same situation repeated, like it did with Princess Diana. Um, but whatever's going on, Spirit also shows me it's literally tearing apart her insides. So that's sad. We wish her well. Pretty young lady. Well, she's actually not that young anymore. She's 42. Oh my God, she's old now. Anyway, let's move on to some predictions. Starting with Chicago. Chicago comes to mind very, very strongly. And I've mentioned Chicago quite frequently in the past as well. Starting with their subway systems. So I feel that that if whatever it is that's happening in Chicago subway systems feels scary to me, a bit scary to me. 
Like, I would definitely not want to be in that subway system in Chicago when the horror breaks out. Because it feels like a horror movie is coming to the Chicago subway. And it felt more to me like some type of an attack, perhaps connected to gang violence of some sort, maybe connected to something else. I saw a vision today of a plane, which appears to be coming, you know, slowly coming down, perhaps like towards landing, but I saw flames and smoke and it literally appeared to me like it was like hit by a lit missile, but although a missile would have probably blew the whole plane up, it looked like it was hit by something just from the distance where I saw it. And I feel that this was, was a repeat because we saw that within the past six months, the plane on the engine on fire. But I see this again and spirit shows me like this is happening again. So let's just hope it's a safe landing at the same time. I've warned of this in the past that spirit reminds me of past disturbing vision that I had of a plane exploding in the sky. Now, remember, I talked about that happening, and we saw what happened with that Russian guy's plane and so forth. But remember, Spirit told us that that would occur again in a different fashion. Today, I saw this happening, and it was more like in the sky, like exploding in the sky. I did not see in that vision any kind of weapon or any kind of missile, nothing like that. So it would make me feel like there's something aboard this plane. I see it again, and I believe that this may somehow potentially be connected to Egypt in some way. Perhaps one of the connecting flights may be going or coming from, from Egypt. But Egypt kind of came to my mind. So I also completely, I'm not completely clear on where, but I do feel that this is somehow more connected to the Middle East in some way. And also perhaps Europe. So... This is going to stir up lots of controversy, and it's going to bring about a sudden conflict or a sudden attack. So yeah, somebody's responsible for this if there's a sudden attack that happens afterwards. So it's like something happens in the government or whoever the plane, what country the plane's connected to, is going to strike back. So I don't know when this is. And don't let this deter you from flying. Always know that you're, ha you're taken care of and the universe is going to keep you safe. Watch your thoughts, watch your words, because when you think of your greatest fears, your greatest fears become a reality because you manifest them. Don't do that. Focus on your greatest dreams and your greatest aspirations and forget about the fears. So not all, uh, remember too, not all of that is related to the same vision of the plane exploding. What I'm about to say is not necessarily related to the plane that's exploding, but spirit showed me today I had a vision of a shady character at an airport carrying kind of like a briefcase sized bag. It was a weird looking bag, but not too weird that it stood out to me, but it doesn't mean it would stand out. Again, spirit shows me things in a way that stand out so that I can interpret them correctly. So even though it looked like a briefcase sized bag, I doubt that it's a briefcase sized bag. It's probably a little bit bigger than that. But this guy looked very, very shady to me, shady character at the airport and this bag. And Spirit showed me the symbol also on the bag. There was a symbol with the words red alert, red alert written on the bag, which means to me in that bag is something that is responsible for a boom boom. And I don't know if it's related to the plane exploding. It could very well be. It could be two separate incidents, two separate things. But when I see this vision of this plane, again, like I say, I don't see missiles. So I would think that it's imploding and exploding from the inside unfortunately i also see both a sabotage and a hack and i talked about hack attacks and cyber attacks on the internet but spirit shows me sabotaging that will start to occur around internet cables kind of like we saw with the uh key, oh, not keystone uh the pipeline what's it called you know what it's called the pipeline that went boom that they blamed one country and we know all everybody knows clearly who was responsible for that so Spirit reminded me of that sabotage of the pipeline, which would make me think we're going to see similar sabotages of internet communications. Taiwan just popped in my mind. So Spirit showed me Taiwan. So I would think that Taiwan may have 
uh, internet communication issues or their cables will be sabotaged or cut in some way or severed. And of course, China would be responsible for that. And if that were to happen, they need to be prepared for an incoming attack shortly after. So, but again, I'm not clear where this is, but Spirit says also that there's going to be several of these happening in the near future too. So this is coming during the spring, summer months. So we also talked about Biden's health, but someone, something that we have not heard until today is that we will have coming issues also around Donald Trump's health. So we talked about Biden's health again many, many times, but this time I feel like there's something coming up for Trump's health. I forget what year Trump's in. CNN is one. Regardless, Spears still shows me he has problems revolved around his chest. And I don't know the lungs. He don't smoke, I don't think. So it's probably not his lungs. It's more likely his heart. And also, well, yeah, it's both, actually, Spears says, because they both affect each other, but it's the heart. And he's going to undergo a procedure in the hospital where it's kind of like having a stent put in his heart. It probably is a stent being put in his heart. Now, heart attacks, just the emotional cause, cause of heart attacks, is basically a workaholic. So if Trump were to have a heart attack, then that would show that he's a workaholic. Not that, that he's having a heart attack. It's probably, again, just a stent being put in to prevent that from happening. So be interesting to see. And I think this is happening you know, during the summer months as well. Very near future, Spirit just said. Very near future. Maybe as early as May. So Brazil, I have friends in Brazil too. Brazil, hold on tight because Spirit says chaos is coming to Brazil. So stay free of the streets of Rio. Stay, oh, stay free of the streets of Rio. Pow Pow events are coming. And I strongly feel like a Pow Pow event is happening around the Brazilian leader being taken out. Or a Brazilian leader oh, being taken out completely. Um, this will likely also bring more chaos to the streets of Brazil after an assassination occurs revolved around their leader. Speaking of leaders and people being taken out, Mexican government. A warning from Spirit comes in that one of the cartel family is currently planning on a large attack on the government and on the city. And I know they have a big war happening right now, a fight conflict of some sort between the Mexican government and the cartel, even though most of the Mexican government is, is in with the cartel. But there's still those that are not. So regardless, Spirit shows me that one of the cartel families is planning this large attack on a government and on a city. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be Mexico City. Now, I don't know the cities. That's the only really city I know of. <laughs> I mean, I know there's lots of cities, but Mexico City came to my mind. And I see a large building being wired up to go boom. And I feel that leaders and the heads in Mexico will be targeted. And some will be successfully taken out completely by the cartel. Crazy. I see disruption and chaos breaking out in Washington, D.C. And it reminds me of, you know, the whole January 6th event, right? Spirit shows me a group of people, kind of like militants, all wearing red shirts. So remember, again, a lot of things are symbolic to me. It doesn't mean they're all going to really be wearing red shirts, by the way. Spirit showing me that red is associated with the devil. So they're all wearing red shirts, which means, you know, they have an evil intent. And red, of course, is the color of our, what's beneath our skin, right? So that's red. So we have to think of that, too. But Spirit shows me these group of militants with red shirts, like the devil and evil. And Spirit warns me of this secret group right now forming who will pose attacks on America and on Washington, D.C. I also had visions today, and I didn't put this in my notes either, but I have visions. Remember when Biden secured the whole city, you know, the White House, even though he wasn't in it? He probably still isn't in it. So I see that D.C. like that again, but different. And I don't feel like Biden's a part of this. So as we know, he's not going to be around much longer anyway. I see kind of like kind of like what I saw for New York City, right? Like National Guard or military, like checks getting in and out. That's how I feel like this is coming for Washington, D.C. Now, I mean, it would make sense that that could be right around, you know, inauguration next year, even though I feel like that could be delayed and shifted and changed as well. 
We'll have to see. So separately, Spirit showed me a vision of two men with, again, medium-toned skin. I believe they are both Middle Eastern. I mean, I had a strong feeling that they were both Middle Eastern. Uh, driving a very dark, a nice vehicle. A nice, you know, nice vehicle. I don't know what kind of vehicle it was, but it was nice, like newer. And they were driving this vehicle into D.C. Spirit showed me the trunk of the vehicle, and Spirit, in my vision, painted the trunk red. There's that red again. Meaning red alert, Spirit says. Red alert. There is something dangerous in the vehicle and in the trunk, and they plan to attempt to park this vehicle somewhere close or nearby the White House. I see them walking away from the vehicle. I see them parking and walking away from the vehicle, and the guy flips open a flip phone, the old flip phones, and he starts pressing some buttons. You know, they cackle and laugh with each other in a sick, joyful kind of way. Uh, One guy had facial hair. And he seems to be the guy in my vision that was leading the whole process. He pushes a code in his phone and I hear, I just hear boom and my vision ends. I didn't see anything. I didn't see what happened. I just heard the boom and my vision ended. So we all kind of can figure out what happens afterwards. I feel like it's still failing. Spirit makes me feel like it's a failure. They're not really completing the mission they went in for. Partially, but not completely. Whatever that means, I do not know. I also see some type of what spirit shows me as an explosive event taking place in the parliament. Not sure which one, because there are 190 parliaments globally, but spirit shows me that this to me is an explosive device is ignited. Like something again, that goes boom. It could be that, but however, I do also know that this is actually metaphoric as well. So again, explosive events happening. To me, as if an explosive event is being, explosive device is being ignited. But instead, again, I take this more of a metaphor more than anything. I don't really necessarily feel that there is going to be a boom, boom event in in a um, parliament. I mean, it's very likely possible now. It felt more metaphoric to me, though, that this is going to ignite three different parliaments, Spirit showed me. And again, I can only take a guess if spirit don't show me. And my guess would be that this would be three big explosive events happening in the Canadian Parliament, the UK, and the third one, maybe Australia. But again, I really have no clue. Perhaps someone you know, down below in the comments could give us a guess. My guess for the third one, again, would be Australia, but I don't know. But one of them is definitely Canada. Spirit showed me this was interesting, disturbing. At the same time, I saw a swarm of locusts and grasshoppers both. And this literally looked to me like a biblical event that reminded me at the same time of a horror movie. An outbreak of insects in certain countries, China and India being two of them, that sweeps across farm fields devouring everything. This feels like it sweeps over parts of the Middle East and adds to the already growing food shortages. I am sad. I felt sad to report this to you. And I feel like to report even sadder to report to you that this feels like there's some kind of dark, sinister, nefarious type of agenda behind the coming of these insects. As if somebody let them loose. We know Mr. G loves to let mosquitoes loose, genetically modified mosquitoes. So is this part of their plan? And he's, you know, buying up all the farmland. Keep your eye on the farms. And I don't necessarily feel like this is all happening this year. 2025 jumped out at me even stronger. So I'm going to say this insect infestation that hits farms in China and India and other countries as well will probably likely be in 2025. Remember, I remind you too, depending on how long you've been following me, you might know this already, but I go back to what Spirit told me way back in 2018. I think it was 2018. 2025 to 2032 would be the most challenging time on the earth. 2025 would make more sense as to when this would happen. Remember, I've been warning and Spirit has been telling us to stock up on food, rice, beans, and everything and anything you can. And to have as much as you possibly can. Six months worth of food minimum. Spirit's been telling us that for a while. Uh, Since 2020. So you've had four years. If you bought an extra can of food every week at the grocery store. For the past four years, you'd have a couple hundred cans of food by now. So don't 
it's never too late. So do that now. I know food is way expensive, but buy just one can. That's it. Just one can every week at the grocery store. By the end of the year, you'll have 52 cans of food. Those 52 cans of food will, could last you a month or longer. Just, again, smart thinking. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. But something with protein and good vitamins that you can stock up on that'll stay good for a while. You'll be glad you did. I'm still stocking up. I'm waiting to acquire a generator eventually, so then I'll get another freezer and fill that up. But I want to make sure I don't want to fill up a freezer if I'm not sure I can keep it running, if you know what I mean. So in certain countries, again, like uh, this insect sweep, sweep of insects is going to heavily affect, of course, hunger and, you know, food supplies. That's why it's important. And we know that China has been stocking up on food, friends. They've been like holding on to their reserves. Some countries aren't export, exporting any other certain things and grains. They're not. They're holding them all on for themselves because they know it's coming. And it's only going to get worse. We're just seeing the beginning. And Spirit's been warning us for four years. So I would expect within the next two years, well, we're already seeing starvation happening in places, unfortunately, due to conflict like in the Gaza that's happening in other places too. So, moving right along. So, I also want to remind you, especially if you are new here, that again, some predictions come true rather quickly. While other predictions, look, I just said the crocodile attack, and it happened within days after I said it. There's other things, like if we go back, turn the page to the year 2017. I said I saw people wearing masks and there would be a big outbreak and that happened three, just over three years later. So it depends. Some things are different than others. Some things happen quicker, especially when it comes to weather. They come into fruition quick too. So remember that. Keep, keep a hold every week. Stay in tune and always hold because the more that we know, especially the ones that aren't going to play out for a few years, the predictions that, that are made and spirit tells us that aren't meant to happen for two to three years, that actually gives us more time to be aware, more time to hold positive outcomes in the light and actually prevent these things from happening. We do together have the ability to shift all of this, just like we have the ability to stop the tic-tac, 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 tic-tac uh, bill 686. We have the ability. So when they start like like arresting people for VPNs, the only ones that we can really blame is ourselves for not stepping forward, not telling these idiots and less than smart people that are supposed to be representing us to have our highest good in their eyes and hearts and not what they're pushed into doing. Read the bill completely. It's creepy, friends. It's very, very creepy. So... Moving right along, I wanted to show you, oh, that was it. Oh, I wanted to tell you about banks. That's all I have in my notes, but I wanted to tell you about the banks again because we're seeing banks drop another bank. I forget what bank it was. Hold on, I'll pull up my notes, my other notes. Some banks just dropped by 40%. I think it was 40%. New York community banks, all of New York community banks dropped by 40%. I just told you with, week ago, two, week, two weeks ago, I think it was, that we would see major, major banking, bank stocks drop. So like to get your money, if you have money, not in the banks, but in stocks related to banks, you can get your money out of that. I mean, eventually out of the banks too, especially if you're in a smaller bank. The smaller banks are going to collapse purposely. They're doing that, pushing just like they did with the small businesses, right? Like Walmart and all them pushed out the little people. Now we're forced to buy crap from Walmart that's mostly imported from China, of course. That was the original idea behind Walmart, to push Chinese goods upon Americans. So remember when they did that whole, you know, buy American-made stuff, and then they got caught putting Made in America on products that were made in China. They just changed the wrapper. That was Walmart for you, yeah, right? So... Banks are dropping, friends. That should tell you something. And I've said this. We've seen gold go up to the highest ever. So far, just broke a record. We also see even Bitcoin and others rising up. I actually, just for the heck of it, put 100 bucks in Ethereum. And within a week, it was only 100 bucks, but I, it's at like $112 now. That's a pretty good 9, 9 or 10% interest. And whatever the interest was that it showed me this morning, I'm like, that's pretty good in a week. 
I was just testing the waters. I should have put a lot more in there, but I didn't have a lot more to put in there. Uh, cryptos give me the creeps. But I'll tell you what Spirit said not long ago, if you remember, and the predictions revolved around that, that Bitcoin eventually would, would drop more closer to the year 2030. Big time drop. Like, big drop, but it would recover. And Ethereum, if I said that right, would be the one that would be the leader in the future. That's why I put 100 bucks in there. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm going to put it in there and see what happens. I'm going to put more in there, too. I think I'm strictly into that. And gold, not me. I, If I had tons of money right now, I would buy tons of gold. I'm definitely investing in silver. I told you that last week because I believe in the long run, in the long term, my feeling is that silver will be the biggest payout. Don't be at all surprised to see things like some of the cryptos like Bitcoin or Ethereum go up to $100,000 within the next two years, especially when everything starts to collapse. But Spirit shows me a graph, you know, how it's all rising up and up. Spirit does show me a drop that's coming and then another big rise. So I'm not getting when this big drop's coming. Hopefully Spirit will let us know as we get close to that. And that's on all of them. That's on all, all like the, is that on all of them, Spirit? It's on the cryptos. And gold, silver. You'll see a little bit of a drop and then it's going to go back up real high. So I'll keep an eye on all those. Those four, especially gold, silver, and the two cryptos. And see, and spirit will let us know when that big drop comes. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting behind with my money. How about you? So that's what I have for you today with all the new predictions. And I thank you all for vibing with the tribe. And if you're new here and you like today's content and you want more accurate predictions, prophecy, truth, and great content, then vibe with the tribe. Smash that subscribe. Thank you so much for showing your love by clicking that love button. A lot of time, energy, and effort goes into this. And taking the time to do the opposite when I asked you doesn't say very much. But I thank you. I thank all my supporters who make this free content possible for everybody else. I couldn't do it without you. I thank you with infinite love and gratitude. If you want a private session with me or you want to know about my upcoming classes and things related to that, go to josephtittle.com, T-I-T-T-E-L. Or to make it easier, just go to spiritmanjt.com. You can schedule right on my website. I thank you all so much, and I remind you to celebrate life, celebrate you. Be kind to others as you wish others be kind to you, and remember to be bold, be true, be kind, be you, because you are awesome. So get out there and rock out your awesomeness, and have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste, and much love. Don't go. Namaste. <laughs> much love. <laughs>